Construct is an independent short film that myself and a group of friends and artists are uh, putting together in our free time, nights and weekends. It is a fully animated short film. It'll be about eight minutes long, and we're rendering it entirely on the GPU, NVIDIA GPUs. I reached out to Chaos Group, makers of the V-Ray renderer, and uh, I said, I want to try and take V-Ray RT and translate that into a real-time context inside a motion capture volume. Working with Kevin on Construct was actually pretty interesting because it sort of opened our eyes in terms of the potential of what our software can do and where it can be used, and we thought it was a perfect opportunity for us to push the technology of V-Ray RT, especially on the GPU. He started to see that he could actually harness this technology to mirror basically what live action cinematography does. So we just shot a take of Roberto and Darren uh, fighting each other. Now we want to review that take. So what we can do now with V-Ray for Motion Builder is replay the take while it's path tracing in real time. So this is the take we just captured playing back in real time. And at any given moment, we can pause it, and it resolves to final quality. This is a great way to evaluate how the lighting and shaders behave in the take that you just captured. Well, I'd like to replicate the live action workflow as closely as possible. And a big part of that is being able to see in the monitor on the camera that I'm capturing the highest fidelity imagery as possible. I'd like to think that there's implications uh, outside of the motion capture process and more about the process of filmmaking as a whole. The ability to compose a frame to color and lighting in the same way a live action cinematographer would has huge implications not only on, on the efficiency and the production standpoint but also creatively. You watch live action cinematography, they're all always conscious of the color and framing and light and shapes that are moving around in the scene in front of them. That's a huge part of how you would compose a frame. What this technology is enabling me to do is to see the moment with more clarity and more fidelity and be able to respond creatively to a broader range of artistic considerations.